Since December 2019, clinicians around the world have reported their findings on the symptoms of the novel coronavirus. Initially, we thought that fever and dry cough occurred in the majority of patients diagnosed with COVID-19, and runny nose and sore throat were rare. These findings came from one initial study published in The Lancet in January 2020 that was conducted in 99 patients who were diagnosed and admitted to hospitals in Wuhan. As the number of COVID-19 cases continued to spread throughout the world, clinicians were learning more and more about the novel virus. In another study published in February 2020, the China Medical Treatment Expert Group for COVID-19 reported their findings from 1,099 hospitalized patients and outpatients with COVID-19. Similar to the previous study, fever and cough were the two most commonly reported symptoms in mild and severe cases. Cough occurred in 68% of patients. On admission, only 44% of people in the study presented with a fever. However, once hospitalized, 89% of patients developed a fever. Other common symptoms reported were fatigue and mucus production, headache, muscle and joint pains, sore throat, and chills occurred in 10 to 20 percent of patients. Other less commonly reported symptoms of COVID-19 were nausea or vomiting, affecting only 5 percent of patients, and diarrhea occurring in around 4 percent of patients. Shortness of breath occurred more often in severe cases. Up until now, we only talked about hospitalized patients, but most patients with COVID-19 are not admitted to the hospital. What are their symptoms? In a more recent study published in April 2020, researchers analyzed data from over 22,000 people living in Iceland to investigate the spread of COVID-19. They also looked at symptoms in ambulatory patients. The participants were recruited from the community and not the hospital. Among the 22,000 participants, 9,199 were deemed at high risk for SARS-CoV-2 infection. These included patients who were either symptomatic, were returning to Iceland from a high-risk country, or had been in contact with someone who was infected with SARS-CoV-2. Within this high-risk group of 9,199, 1,221 tested positive for SARS-CoV-2 infection. In the people who tested positive, fever occurred in 43% of patients and cough occurred in 28% of patients. Body aches also occurred in about 28% of patients. Headache was another common symptom reported by COVID-19 patients in the community occurring in 21% of patients. Other reported symptoms were fatigue, runny nose, sore throat, and loss of smell or taste. Comparing the data from hospitalized patients and outpatients with COVID-19, fever occurred at approximately the same rate in both groups of patients but still less than half of patients presented with fever. Cough and fatigue seem to be more common in hospitalized patients, whereas body aches and headaches occurred more frequently in outpatients. In a subsequent analysis of the 22,000 patients included in the study, 43% of participants who tested positive for COVID-19 were asymptomatic at the time they were tested, highlighting the potential spread of SARS-CoV-2 among asymptomatic people. Although they didn't track the participants at a later stage, the authors argue that it's likely that some of these patients eventually developed symptoms. Reported estimates of asymptomatic cases of COVID-19 range from 3% to 43%. This wide range shows that the significance of asymptomatic disease requires deeper investigation. That's it for now. If you want to improve your understanding of COVID-19, make sure to register for a free MIT Mastery trial account and check out our CME accredited courses. So stay safe and see you next time.